Any points? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Anyway, what's your point? I'm going to point today after I do my song. So my song is to God be the glory. Okay, I'm not going to say it. I promise. I'm just <laughs> Alright, the point is called Face to Face with the Hound of Heaven. And if your face are going to stay this serious, I'm not doing this one. Alright, there you go. Somebody goes, Shirley, tell them. Smell good. It's a beautiful day. Put a smile on your face. This is actually. I love it here. Smell me, darling. Face to face with the hound of heaven. The night was still, and the world gave no sound when the hound of heaven dropped below. As he strode in the room, dark fled from his leg, and startled by a wolf that fell down at the side. His hands were scarred, and his eyes were gold, and they burned with a fire that never waxed old. But the gaze was high, no swiftly fierce, the heart to rend and the soul to pierce. Then he called me by name, I sat on my bed, and the only thought left the dance in my head was, Who do you know me? His boy don't understand. Because clearly I didn't know him, in my life of bleak darkness and unmentionable sin. Then my armpit started sweating, as I quivered with fear, and his soft gentle smile, at his intimate sphere. But defense had few options, and with no knife or no gun, one really stood out in a big way. Run. So I jumped off the bed and made a mad dash, fully expecting a powerful lash, when suddenly his chest smashed into my face. It seemed like a flight was all over the place. So I bumped to the right, and I weaved to the left, and I ran around in circles, till I ran out of breath. Are you could believe he didn't even pass a sweat. But yet, he walked over to where I lay, panting on the floor, and offered me a helping hand that I couldn't ignore. Then he told me who he was. The king of all the earth, who made the sun and the sea, the one who knit the wind, and who had designed me in my intricacy and severely complex parts. And all that he wanted from me was my heart. Wait a minute. Excuse you? If you will go go all psycho on me and try to cover her anything, you will not stop me As soon as I catch my way, you will see. <sighs> but then he rolled his eyes at me and shushed me and swiftly explained that it was from my desperate life that he came, from heaven sweet land to die on a tree so that I could have real life and from darkness be free. And as he told me his truth, my fighting heart caught flame. And the words that he spoke had the power in his name. And I knew I would never, ever, ever be the same. Then an intense burst of love held me, and it was completely strange. And in an unexpected instant, I knew that I needed to change. For his face had grown familiar somehow. And I recognized him now. He had been there with me all along. Somehow. So, I accepted what he offered, and in turn, I gave my life. Though he told me that tough times would come to junk me for the life. But he promised that he would be there through every storm and trial, and that he would walk my life with me through every tear and smile. And it's been 10 years since that happened, and the house has been a faithful friend, who's promised to stick it out with me till my years come to an end. And, well, I love the girl like it was before. In darkness and in sin. Not since the light God cornered me and welcomed my soul in.